Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome to a quick video I wanted to dedicate to using Adobe Fuse to create your own custom characters. It's currently a brilliant free tool that we can use to create these characters and it's very similar to an in-game customer character creation sort of thing. What I mean by that is you just choose the body parts, you choose the clothing and then you just use customization sliders to adjust the size of the body parts and all of the different settings but most importantly you have got so many possibilities and different options you can create for your characters so you could have females males zombies you can have hundreds of different clothing options you can change the size of all the muscles so you can change the shoulders the legs the wrists everything you need to do it's really powerful but most importantly it has got really great functionality and integration with Mixamo. What I mean by that is you just press this button over in the top right hand corner and then this is going to export it out to Mixamo which is going to automatically rig it and then we can just use some of their animations and bring it into a game engine such as Unreal Engine 4, Unity or whatever we're going to do. In addition to that we can also if we wanted to simply go to export and we can export it as an OBJ file and we can also export the textures as well so if you want to make your own changes to it if you're a modeler you know you can go ahead and do that or you can even adjust the textures inside of Photoshop it's entirely up to you it's a really simple and really powerful tool and while it's in beta as well it's absolutely free which is brilliant so you can see I've got a character here and I actually made this character in about two and a half minutes and that just goes to show you just how powerful it is and you can see this character is entirely customized it's got flat shoes which are red it's got some you know sort of skinny pants on tactical jacket tactical gloves giving him some really nice pink shades here giving him a ski mask and I've also given him mutton chops if you're into that but most importantly he's got a fedora fedoras are cool um, but anyway, let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can create one of these. Now before I do delete this, I'm going to show you a couple of different things in it. Now you've got three main areas for this software. You've got the viewport which shows you the character, which is over here on the left hand side. And then you've also got the body parts and the selection stuff on the right hand side. So this is going to be where you choose like your chest, your legs, your arms, your heads your clothing, adjust all the sliders and that good stuff. And then at the top here, you've got your tabs that you can go into for, you know, adjusting, you know, assembling, customizing, clothing and texturing your character. Now, we're only going to really work with three main tabs for now, for today's video anyway. And that's just going to be assemble, customize and clothing. Assembling is going to be choosing the body parts. Customizing is going to be adjusting the body parts and then clothing is pretty self-explanatory That's going to be showing you guys how you can put tops on there, trousers on him, shoes on him, gloves and all of that good stuff So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and create a new model Go to file, new model and I'm just going to discard the changes to the character that I've just made here give it a couple of seconds and then we're going to have a blank canvas. From here it's going to automatically take you into the assemble panel and the customize and clothing panels are going to be greyed out until you've completed a whole character in terms of body parts. So starting off from the very top you have to choose a head for the character. Now you've got a couple of different options in here, you know you've got like a toon female character, we've got a zombie, um, we've got some males, we've got some females. For now I'm just going to go with an average male, so I'm just going to choose a male scan 1. If you click him, give it a couple of seconds, and what it's going to do is it's going to give you a little head model, and that is it. Now, the reason why we haven't got anything more than the head model is because we haven't chosen anything else. We've also got to cho choose a torso, a leg, an arm, and, you know, the rest of the stuff as well. So let's just choose a torso and add it in here as well. I'm just going to go with male fit A, so once I click that, it's going to add it to our head model in just a second. Um, my computer's just running a bit slower than I'd like to, but you can see we've done that. Next, it's asking us to choose a leg. If you wanted to, you can add a female's leg on there if you're into that. Um, but for me, I'm just going to choose, let's just go with um, male scan 1, or male fit A. That way, it's going to match the chest. Just choose the names that sort of match each other if you can, that way you don't have to do too much customization later on. Choose an arm, male fit A, 
and I'm going to put that in there as well. And then from there, we've got pretty much our entire character assembled. Now what we need to do is customize them. Now the customization is going to be things like making them bigger, smaller, you know, changing the size of wrists, shoulders, heads, forearms. It's really simple and there is loads and loads of settings. So at the moment we're just in the arms tab and you can see just how many settings there are. So for example, deltoids, small and big. We can slide this and we can give them small shoulders, big shoulders if you want to make them muscly. Um, the wrists, we can make them thick or we can make them thin. Um, I like quite thick wrists. Um, you know, just go through these one by one and just play around with them until you get the look and the style that you're after for your character. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all of this stuff there for now for the customization. I'm pretty happy with that. If you want to change it, just go through some of these settings for the teeth, the legs, the head, the face, the arms, and just adjust it to your look and the style that you're after. Next up is my clothing. I'm going to start off with a top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a long sleeve police uniform jacket. And then I'm going to move over to bottoms. And I am going to give him, let's just go with some tactical response, you know, trousers. And going through here, you can see just how many different options we have for clothing for this character. So for example, if I wanted to, I can give him a, sk a skirt if you're into that. Um, you know, we've got pencil skirts, we've got rolled shorts, high-waisted skirts, we've got some weird-looking armor here, we've got scrubs, it's entirely up to you. Um, but for now, I'm just going to give some tactical re uh, tactical response things. Shoes, once again, you can choose these, we've got <laughs> loads of different options. Um, I am just going to give him some just regular boots for now. Once again, you can just choose these options all yourself. Moving on, hair, let's go ahead and give him some hair because at the moment he's pretty much almost bald. So I am just going to give him short hair. Moving on, if you wanted to, you can give him a hat. I'm going to give him a captain's hat because, you know, captains are pretty badass. You can give him a fedora if you want to. Yeah, let's give him a fedora. Moving on, eyewear, let's just go ahead and give him some pilot's glasses, make him look cool. Does he need a beard? Um... Yeah, let's just give him some mutton chops. Everyone hates mutton chops. And then we've got some gloves. Let's just give him some tactical response gloves. Masks. Do we want to give him any, any masks? Um, you know what? I'm not going to go with any masks. Mustaches. I'm going to give him this little weird handlebar mustache thing, whatever you want to call that. But most importantly now, you can see that we've got our character coming to life and he looks pretty cool. Even if he does look a bit odd. Obviously, you're going to be designing this around the needs of your game. But what you can do now then, like I mentioned earlier, you can either go to File, Export the model as OBJ and the textures, or you could send it directly to Mixamo, which is really simple. Just press the name, uh, press the button in the top right, choose a character name, and I'm just going to call this Dodgy, uh, Dodgy Police. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And what it's going to do now then is it's going to export the model to a temporary file and then once it's done that it's going to upload it to Mixamo for us guys to use later on. So inside of Mixamo we can rig it, we can animate it and then we can export it out from Mixamo ready to use in our own game later on. So you can see here at the moment it's just exporting an OBJ and then it's just going to send that over to Mixamo. What you might want to do in the meantime is open up the Mixamo website on your computer so I'm going to open this up and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to retrieve that character of ours. So you can see it should be done in just a second. I'm going to go to my store, give it a couple of seconds to load up, go to my assets and then it's going to pop up in here in a moment. So give it a second. So it's there we go. So just preparing model for rigging. Give it a couple of seconds and then it should pop up. So. If I go ahead and refresh this now that it's done, you can see that it's popped up here and that's all good. Now generally, uh, Fuse is going to open up your default web browser to do this. For me it's Internet Explorer which I don't like doing, so I'm just going to leave that and I'm going to do it all inside of here. So you can see here with my little thumbnail, you can see it says it's not yet rigged. That's because it doesn't rig it automatically. What you've got to do is click this. And then you're going to see a little preview here on the left hand side. It's going to take a little while for it to generate the assets as it's only just uploaded the character model. 
what you want to do is go straight over to rig character and then once you've done this it's going to automatically rig it for you and the really cool part is you don't even have to place the markers Adobe Fuse is going to tell Mixamo exactly where everything in it is so it's going to tell it where the chin is the wrists are the elbows are the knees are and all of that good stuff all you've got to do is just let this auto rigger do its thing and then from there you can just animate it like any other you know character that you've just used from Mixamo it's as simple as that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for just a moment and then as soon as it's done automatically rigging I'll show you how to animate it and get it ready to bring into a game engine Okay, so you can see it's loaded up here now, and you can see I've got my character. You can see him looking left, you can see him looking right, and he's exactly the same as how he looked inside of Adobe Fuse, which is great. Generally, you want to leave these settings exactly how they are, standard skeleton, and the facial blend shapes, just leave that normal. Press finish, and then from here, we can either view it in my assets, if you want to download it straight away, or you could proceed to animate it. So what I'm going to do, press the animate button, and then from there I'm going to go to my store and then you can choose an animation pack to apply to this so let's say you want your guy to you know let's have a rifle for example with our guy you can see here it's now automatically assigned it to your dodgy police character press change character if it hasn't and then you just select the one in there and then from there you can add it to your assets you can customize the pack it's entirely up to you so just add it to your assets and then from there you can proceed to download it. But most importantly guys, this is pretty much everything that I wanted to show you how to do. I wanted to show you how to get a character from Adobe Fuse into Mixamo and then getting it ready to view and download. It's really that simple. This whole character has been created in the process of about 10 minutes. So play around with it, create whatever characters you want guys. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this, then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.